Oh, that's right, baby. Let's look alive. You know who it is and you know what it is. This is J-Rock. And J-Rock is about to give you his reaction to WWE. Crown Jewel. What did I think of it? Come on back and find out. Hip, yes, what J-Rock is cooking. Finally, J-Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in, 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 in with the millions <laughs> of J-Rock's fans from all over the world? You're right here with J-Rock. And J-Rock is about to give you his reaction to WWE Crown Jewel. Started out pretty good, actually. Kane and Brock opened up the, the event. And I actually liked the beginning of this match for this reason. When WWE brings somebody else in from a different arena, different sport, I'm of the belief, let them be who they are. If you're a boxer, box. If you're a kickboxer, then kickbox. If you're a fighter, fight. Whatever it is you do, do that because that's what you're good at. Don't come in and try to do something that you're not good at. You haven't had as much practice as the other people, so don't even do that. And so I liked out of the beginning of this match that Cain Velasquez, he's a fighter, you know, MMA fighter. And that's what he came out being, right? A fighter. He wasn't trying to do no arm drags, no drop kicks, no arm bars. That's not what he was trying to do. But here's where the match went south when they ended it in five minutes. Listen, I get that this is his first match. And yeah, you may be trying to see how he's going to fare or whatever the case may be. But then you need to put him in there with somebody else. Don't put him in there with Brock as his first match. Put him in there with somebody who knows how to show him the ring mechanics. He's had a couple of weeks since the event. Give him a couple guys to get in there with to learn the ropes. Let him get his feet wet a little bit. Don't let his first match be against Brock. You asking for a bad match. And even though they ended it quick, I like the fact that they started out with letting him be, you know, a fighter or whatnot. Because that's who he is. He's a fighter. He wasn't trying to wrestle. He wasn't trying to be as, as good old JR would say, a catch a can style wrestler. So that match, had it gone longer, I think it could have been better. But on a scale of one to five, I'm going to have to give that maybe like a two and a half for the sole reasons that they ended it too early. Should have put Kane in there with some other people first. Let him get his feet wet before you put him in there with Brock first. All right? He may be part-time. I don't know. But you can be part-time and still get some good matches in between then and now. Hell, Brock's part-time. Anyway, trying out the new green screen effect, you know, with the whole thing. Got the crown jewel thing behind me. A little shadows. I'm trying to figure out how to do all that. Get that out of there. Uh, hang on. See if I can fix this. All right. So that match was all right. Then, um, I can't remember what was next. Oh, let me just go to the Tyson Fury and Braun Strowman match real quick. See, that's what I mean when I say when somebody is, whether they're a boxer or a wrestler or whatever their thing is, let them do that. This match is exactly why I said let them do that. Because the what they did with Kane and Brock, they did the exact opposite with Braun and Tyson. They wanted them to have a wrestling match. No, 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 no. This needed to be a fight. Not a wrestling match. Not a less lock up. Not an arm bar. Not no nip ups. All right. And during the match, damn Tyson Fury gonna try to sit up like he the Undertaker. Like really? You may have made a few people laugh, ha ha. But come on. You're not the Undertaker. You're not a wrestler, bro. You're a boxer. Box. All right. And. 
if you're being overpowered by brawn, which makes sense, then you just turn it into a fight. The only part of this match I like was at the ending when they ended it with a boxing move by a boxer. Take their hand, right cross, knocked him out. Now, I don't think it should have been a count out. I mean, I get why they didn't want it to make it seem like Tyson Fury could knock out Braun Strowman and then he would lose some heat. But what do you think about maybe using like a, maybe a boxing glove and he knocks him out with the glove and then you later find out that the glove was, was loaded with something? Like this glove was loaded with, oh, okay, all right, so that's how he won. Sure, he gets the W, but it's not as clean to try to take any, you know, uh, push away from Braun to make it seem like he got beat straight up by a boxer. Because you remember they did that with Floyd Mayweather and the Big Show. How can we sell this little guy knocking out this big guy? Well, he used brass knuckles. Combine the fact that he's a boxer and his punching power, yeah, that makes sense. But this match, Braun Strowman and, 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 and Tyson Fury, it gets a one out of five, and that's only because of the right cross they used to end the match. That was it. Other than that, this, ma this match was one big cluster, you know what. A couple other matches they had, Lacey Evans and um, Natalia. Congratulations to you guys. I know how much of a big deal that is for women uh, to be wrestling um, in Saudi Arabia. So I know how much a big deal that is. So congrats to you guys on that. Um, the whole um, tag team turmoil match. Here's my... I thought the, the, the ob objective of it was cool. But I'm of the mindset that what is this whole best in the world tag team? Like, you're devaluing the championship belt. You're making them seem second class now. If you're not going to make the turmoil for the titles, for a specific title set, okay, then have the winners of the tag team turmoil match get a title shot. Say, okay, we want a title shot at this, at the Raw ones or the SmackDown ones or whichever show they belong to. They're on SmackDown, okay. So they get a SmackDown title shot. The whole, we're the best in the world trophy, but we're not the champs. Like, that's basically take, making the, the titles not mean what they should mean. And that's one of my issues today with WWE. The titles are not as important as they used to be. Shinsuke Nakamura is the Intercontinental Champion. Nobody gives a damn. That belt used to mean something. That belt used to mean that you were next in line to challenge for the title. And that's why that belt was so coveted. Hell, the WWE NXT Women's Championship means more than the Intercontinental title. Or at least they're making it seem like it does because so many people are fighting for it. I think they need to, number one, take, change the color of it. It's not white. Change the design of it. Give it a new look. The same thing with the U.S. title. Give them new looks. And then start placing some value on the championship. Start making them mean something. Uh, what else? Um, Mansoor took on Cesaro. Obviously, you know, him being from that, from there, Mansoor. He was going to win, so that was obvious. I, I, I guess they like seeing one of their own perform. They did an interview afterwards, so... Um, what else? Uh, the five on five match. Oh yeah, uh, AJ Styles wrestled some jabroni. It was it was an okay match, but the five on five match that actually was pretty good. I actually liked that one. I liked the five on five uh, matchup. Uh, I thought they'd do more to try to push the rivalry between Rusev and Bobby Lashley a little more. You know, like at the end of the match, have them two fight, go through the crowd fighting. They're fighting in the back or whatever. Then, a, you know, a camera cuts to the back, them fighting, and cuts back to the ring. You know, something to try to really boost that rivalry up where they need to be separated, that sort of thing. To add some more juice to that rivalry. They didn't do that. 
I guess they might do it later. Um, the added element of Hogan and Flair, I th thought that was pretty cool. You know, those guys just, Hogan can barely walk now. He's had several hip placement surgeries, and I think he's about to have another one. So, yeah, it's that match. I'd probably give that match a three out of five because it was pretty good. I, I really liked that match. But then the main event. The match was good. But here's what soured it. That damn red light. The damn red light was on the entire matchup. I get it. They're trying to distinguish uh, the fiend, you know, this guy right here. They're trying to they're trying to differentiate him from the other people. Like he's not like everybody else. But you don't need to have that red light on the whole match. That red light needs to mean significance. That needs to have some bearings on it. It needs to have some sort of impact when you see it. If you go and watch a, um, hang on, that was on green screen. All right, what up? If you go and watch a um, Jason movie, when you hear ch -ch 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 -ch, you know it's about to go down. You know it's about to go down because that is th that's his calling card. But can you imagine if they did that the whole movie? Ch -ch -ch -ch. Ring, hello, ch -ch -ch. hi, it's that. That's going on the whole, it would kill the vibe of the movie and that sound would have less significance. That's what they're doing with that red light. They're turning it on for the whole match and it loses its significance. And you don't have to. Imagine this, if you will. When Seth Rollins knocked uh, Bray Wyatt into that, you know, area where, you know, all the staging and the lighting and all that crap was going nuts. You know, the sparkles and, you know, all that stuff. Pew, 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 you know. Yeah, I said pew, pew. I sure did. Imagine, if you will, as Seth is coming down to uh, try to go for the pinfall, the lights go out. And then all of a sudden, this red ominous light starts going on. You're like, what the hell is this? And then he rises up out of that. Gives the man the claw. Sister Abigail. And he wins the championship. Now, you can't tell me that that wouldn't be more like, oh, my God, what just happened? That would differentiate him. That would mean that the fiend is here. I wouldn't even have a problem, even though I, they, they have to figure out how they're going to do it. If Bray Wyatt didn't have the mask on for the first part of the match, but then when that when the lights went out, he put the mask on, the light will come on, and then Bray Wyatt will rise, uh, then the Fiend will come out. Like, let me, and then he would go nuts and then win the match. It's like, damn, this is this is a two-for-one special right here. WWE, y'all need to holler at your boy. I got some ideas that can put this thing over the top. Holler at your boy, baby. Purr. That match, I have to give it a two out of five for the sole reason of that damn light. If they had done it without that damn light, it would have got a high score for me. So, but I don't know what y'all think. Some of y'all may like the red light. I personally didn't care too much for it. I thought it ruined and soured the match, but hey, post your comments down below. Let me know what you all thought. Let me know what you thought of my new setup. I know it's tripping right now. Um, try to fix that, whatever. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you thought of it. If you appreciate it and enjoy J-Rock's reaction to this, make sure you hit that like button. You subscribe. Thank you so much for subscribing. J-Rock really appreciates that on his journey to 1 million subscribers. Uh, he cannot do it without your help. J-Rock needs your help to do that. So share this video and let the world know that the YouTube People's Chat Baby is here. All right? 
Uh, also, make sure that you go to my Facebook fan page and post a request down there that you want. If you got a video you want me to react to, and if I pick yours, you will get a shout out in front of the millions and millions of J Rock's fans uh, on the People's Channel. All right. And also, make sure you hit that bell so that you can be notified that it is time to be electrified. Until next time, thank you for joining J-Rock. If you smell la, 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 what J-Rock is cooking.